Sea of Thieves just released with the promises of a grand multiplayer experience, rivaled by none. With a massive open world with treasure to discover, islands to explore, and enemy ships to plunder. Did they live up to their promise? Is the game worth full AAA price? Or is this the first symptom of the Xbox Game Pass? But we must start from an unusual place. And not from another rare game, but one from Ubisoft. Assassin's Creed Black Flag was the pirate game no one knew they wanted. The cinematic character control and meticulously crafted world made for a truly eye-watering experience. Not to mention the ship-to-ship -ship combat being sharp, addictive and engaging. When I first set sail in Ass Creed, I was hooked. Sailing around, attacking enemy ships or raiding merchant convoys felt epic. We were all thinking, how great would this be as a multiplayer experience? Needless to say that Assassin's Creed set the bar high and woke up the pirate genre. But there is two glaring differences between Sea of Thieves and Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed had different things to do and an actual sense of progression. Sea of Thieves has very little in the way of content at the moment. To be honest, it's empty. All of the quests are the same. The Kraken becomes more of a nuisance than a heroic battle after the first time and there are only skeletons as enemies. People have taken to calling it No Man's Sea, a fitting name, I think. But arguably, No Man's Sky had more content than this. Where my gripe truly lies is with the AAA price tag. Yes, I know if you have the Xbox Game Pass, you can play it at no extra cost apart from the 10 bucks a month that the Game Pass costs. But it feels to me like they've developed this game just for Game Pass. They thought, we can chuck a full price on the game that's maybe worth 30 bucks. And people can't get mad because they can get it on Game Pass. What it looks like is that they've developed this game purely to sell Game Pass subscriptions. Although the PvP is one of the game's strongest aspects, it's unfortunately where the game becomes a little annoying as well. You would think that you attack a player's ship, raid their boat, steal their loot, but for the most part, enemy players rarely have loot to steal. And that's only if you can catch them as most people end up turning and running anyway. What's that? Did, did you sink an enemy ship? Oh, oh, you killed the, the entire crew? Oh, here, receive no rewards. Oh, look, now you're out of cannonballs and you have to go and resupply. Not to mention the griefing is relentless. It's a shame they don't have NPC ships sailing about the place that have some decent loot to take. It would make raiding ships that you see far more worth it. But the only threat you have on the water is enemy players that get you no closer to your dream sails. Sea of Thieves as it stands is ridiculously beautiful and the first time you do everything in the game, it's actually great fun as well. But it lacks critical content, making it worth no more than 5 to 10 hours of play. Even when you have played the 20 hours I have, you quickly realise that progression is non-existent, apart from the skins you never notice anyway. Making money is slow to the point of a time-wasting grind. Your character does not change and your ship does not improve in any meaningful way. I mean, they've made promises of more content and future updates that will 
hopefully deliver some much deserved content. The only progression you make at the moment is with the quest givers. And even then, that only grants you access to higher tier quests. They're the same thing, just more gold at the end. Nothing changes, nothing goes anywhere. There is no story to keep you moving. There is no quest variation. The combat is shallow and repetitive, leaving me with a salty taste in my mouth. I got them all, they're dead. Sea of Thieves broke my heart. The promise of a pirate multiplayer game was one that had me excited and many others. The promise of a variety of things to do and explore, of battles with enemy ships and plunder to spend, it wasn't to be. Hopefully they begin to add these features. But if they're gonna charge full price, whether or not they have a cheaper way of playing the game, the game should have had more than just a repetitive grind in place of actual content. But what do you guys think? Are you playing Sea of Thieves? Do you think it's worth the uh, $100 price tag that it has? Um, is it living up to your expectations? What would you like to see from the developers? I know I want to see a far more variation in NPCs and I'd love to see some NPC boats cruising around as well. Uh, but as it stands, I don't know how much more Sea of Thieves I'm actually going to play at the moment because it is... It is just far too empty. Anyway guys, tell me what you think in the comments below and if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe as it really helps us out here. It means the world to us. Anyway, I will see you on the next one. Take it easy.